Hi, welcome back to this week's basketball edition of The Huddle. I'm reporter Ruth Lang here with sports editor Mike Brown. This week we are just going to talk about successes of the season, starting with the girls. Mike, would you just wrap up for us what happened in the girls' season? Yeah, it was another good girls' season. I mean, they had uh, West Branch and Louisville tied for the NBC title, so that's that's a good thing right there. And then um, West Branch went on, got to the district title game. Uh, lost the district title game to Canfield again for the second year in a row, but uh, they have a lot of their team coming back. That's mostly a, uh, a sophomore and freshman uh, team. I think West Branch loses just two seniors off that team, and I believe just one was a part-time starter off that team, so you know they'll be real good next year. Louisville had another great year. You know, I thought uh, Coach McCulley at Louisville did one of the best jobs of anybody because he had lost a lot of players from the, the previous year and came back, and they got a piece of the NBC title, so, you know, a, a great season for them. And then, Ruth, you have the United Golden Eagles were the last area team standing. They, uh, you know, they won the Inter-Tri County League Championship and got all the way to the regional semifinals where they lost to the Orville Red Riders. Now, no shame in that. Orville got to the state tournament this year, and United had a great season again. Uh, Coach Sam Mathias did a great job for them. So, you know, there's a lot of problems, a lot of, of success stories this year. A lot of good players coming back next year, so there's a lot of promises as we move forward with girls basketball in our area. It's traditionally always been a very good area for girls basketball. Now for the boys, we also had some boys teams make it pretty far in the tournaments mm -hmm. as well. And we also had Marlington ended with a key player getting some recognition again in Lucas Struble. We sure did. He got NBC Player of the Year again for the second year in a row. He uh, also this week was named to the North-South All-Star Game, which is as good as it gets for an Ohio basketball player. You know, that's going to be played uh, later this spring, but uh, that's a great award for Lucas. And then we had uh, four NBC teams made it uh, to the district finals this year. Uh, we had uh, the Alliance Aviators. You know, they played Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. Uh, lost to that team, but Akron St. Vincent St. Mary got to the state tournament. So, um, you know, that's they gave them a great shot again. And uh, and then we had the Marlington Dukes got to the district semifinals. The Salem Quakers got to the district final down at Boardman, and they lost to the Youngstown Cardinal Mini Cardinals there. And then another NBC team, uh, not from our area per se, the Carrollton Warriors got to the district championship game in their area, and they did. Uh, they had a great year too. So the NBC did very well in boys basketball this year. Now we have a lot of talent coming back next year in the boys as well. The Alliance Aviators return almost their whole team next year, so Alliance will be a, a force to be reckoned with again next year. And then we have some other teams. You know, Marlington loses. Mar Lucas Struble is going on to Walsh University. He got a uh, full ride to Walsh University for basketball, so we're happy for him. Uh, Marlington will have, have some players back, but they lose Lucas Struble. West Branch has a few players back next year. Sebring uh, will have quite a few players back next year. They were a young ball club this year. So, uh, And some of the other teams in the area, Minerva was young. They'll have a lot of players coming back. Louisville was young again. Uh, and so when you look ahead to next year for the boys, uh, there should be a lot of promise there. I, I actually think we will be better overall in boys basketball next year than we were this year. And we were pretty darn good this year. When you have you know four teams from one league that get to the district tournament, that speaks pretty well of that. But I think overall for the review area, I think we'll probably be better uh, as far as a number of teams doing well next year than we did this year. And it was pretty good this year. Mm -hmm. Now just tell us about St. Thomas and their season-ending mm -hmm. run as well. Yeah, and again, there's the last team standing for the boys. The Knights uh, did a great job. I mean, uh, they play a really tough regular season schedule. And they may finish the regular season with a few more losses than some of the area teams. But they always go into the Division Three sectional district at Salem and usually do very well. And that was the case again this year. They won the district title. Uh, they got to the regional. They lost to the Beechwood Bison uh, last week in the regional. Uh, and then Beach, uh, Beechwood turned around and lost in the regional final. Um, but uh, a great year for St. Thomas, my goodness, uh, that, that was just phenomenal uh, what they did. Had some really talented players on that team and had uh, a few of their players were our Athletes of the Week uh, this year, uh, including uh, Mr. Berger was our Athlete of the Week this week. So uh, it was a good year for the Knights. They were, like I said, the last male team standing for us this year and a good year for them. So And, and a good year overall for our area. Well, that's a wrap for this season of basketball on the huddle. Make sure you tune in next season for some more huddle coverage here on TheReview.com. You can stay in touch with our regular review sports coverage in the sports pages online at www.the-review.com and on Twitter at AllRevSports. See you next season.